I think we are live. This is so interesting. Welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm going to ask my team if they can hear me and I sound okay to let me know in the chat. Let me know just so I can make sure this is a new platform we're using. We're really excited about this innovative technology, but we want to make sure it works perfect. Thank you, team. Welcome everyone to the Unapologetically Free Student Conference. This unprecedented national effort was designed and is brought to you by the United Negro College Fund, the Steve Fund, and Thurgood Marshall College Fund. This is a response to the rise in mental health challenges among college students across the country. The Unapologetically Free Initiative includes research and collaboration with Healthy Minds, a series of webinars and workshops, and this very student conference. For more information, check us out at unapologetically-free.org. My name is Rajay Branch, and I am the Director of Families and Special Projects at the Steve Fund. The Steve Fund focuses on supporting the mental health and emotional well-being of young people of color. The Steve Fund works with colleges and universities, nonprofits, and other programs for young people and their families to promote programs and strategies that build understanding and assistance for the mental health and emotional health of the nation's young people of color. Take some time throughout the conference to check out our sponsorship booth and view our mental health resources, which are also located on our website, stefund.org. We'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors for their support. This includes the Linda Foundation, Macy's, and New York. Linda I didn't Foundation. get that. Oh, Could you try serious? again? Okay. Um, without further ado, I'd like to introduce our MCs for today's conference, Etnisha Salisbury, licensed social worker, Kimberly Moore, who have also, they've been friends for more than 25 years, and they are the co-authors of the mental health workbook, Hey Sis, Are You Okay? They're also the co-creators of Black Woman Be Whole, and their mission is to normalize conversations around mental health and self-care. Learn more about their work at Black Woman Be Whole. Take it away, ladies. Hey, 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 everyone. Uh, thank you, Rajay. Uh, we're excited to be with everyone these next two days. So hopefully all of you guys will be here for the next two days as well. Uh, this event you're attending today is a part of that unprecedented national effort to reduce stigma. Uh, we want to promote knowledge, dialogue, and awareness around your mental health needs. Uh, we're providing tools and resources and support that you need to remain or become mentally well so that you can advance your post personal goals, excuse me, as well as become future leaders of tomorrow. So there was a survey conducted by the United Negro College Fund and the Steve Fund last year, which received responses from students and faculty and staff members representing 47 HBCUs. And so today I really wanna kind of highlight a couple of the findings. And so I wanna kind of highlight the top three findings that we noticed. So the first thing is students, faculty and staff of all agree that the top three health concerns for college students are stress, anxiety, and depression. And so if you guys agree, definitely put it in the chat. The second thing I want to highlight is a majority of the students, faculty, and staff at HBCUs, they said they want to be more informed about the resources to support mental health on their campuses. Yet 25% of that faculty and staff shared that there is no training available about student mental health and wellness. And the third thing that we want to highlight today is nearly 70% of the students express a desire to be informed about resources and events regarding well-being. So thank you so much for everyone that's on here for today for investing in your mental and emotional health. Uh, again, these next two days that we're going to be together will be informative, and we, we really want you to embrace your identity and kind of show up as your full selves as you center your mental health and your overall wellness. So now I'm going to take it to Kim, and we're going to do a roll call, y'all. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I'm excited to be here. So what we're going to do right now is we want to know who's here, and uh, we're going to have, we have a slide with some um, 
some of the schools and we want to know when you're showing up, what's your name, what's your school and what's your location. So we're going to uh, hit the button and get it to the, the slide. Okay. All right, All right let me see we've got A through F right now. We want to know who's representing from the following colleges. Who's at Alabama? Who's at oh, Chicago? you Bennett, where y'all at? We want to know. Put your name. We're all showing up. Let me see. Okay, Texas Southern University in the house. We got Vanessa from Norfolk State University. Okay, the green and gold. Who else is in the house? Come on, Jacqueline from Southern Jacqueline. University at Shreveport. We love it. So we got A through F. We got Alabama State in the house. Tuskegee University. Okay. All right. All right. We're going to the next one. Okay, Xavier. Oh, Xavier. Florida A&M. Alabama State. All right, Alabama. Y'all been telling y'all friends about this event, huh? I Talladega love it. Talladega College. Okay, who's next? All right, we got Hampton. We got G-O-N. I love it. Keep it coming. We want to know who's here. We want to know who's here. Represent your school. Represent your state. Thank you for investing yourself. This is exciting. Who has the best football team out there? Y'all, we want to know who has the best band. Okay, <laughs> New Orleans is here. I love it. Keep it coming. What's up? Lane College, Diamond. Glad to see you guys here today. Okay, Austin, Texas, we got you. Who has the best homecoming? Rep, if you got the best homecoming out there. All right, all Toya. right. Norfolk, where you at? Sure. What's we up, got Savannah? Family. We got Xavier. Tuskegee. Ooh, the human the jukebox. First HBCU band. Okay, Tuskegee, I see y'all. We love it. We love it. Sam, you has the best homecoming. Okay. We excited for that. I'm just so excited that you guys are invested in your mental health. As a licensed clinical social worker, I see people every day. And I'm just so grateful that people are deciding to prioritize their mental health. Okay, to you to shed. Oh, fam, you has the best homecoming. All right. We, we're just going to let, we let y'all uh, say what you need to about your school. We believe you all. We believe all of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> what other schools do we have come on this slide yeah listen if you missed it on the roll call just shout it out we want to hear from you also make sure you answer the questions that we have in the chat we want to hear your thoughts we want to know what's going on we really want to know what um what you're thinking and what resonates with you so please we want you guys to stay engaged know. all day let us know so it's going to be kim and i in the chat today Okay. All right, so Boy, we want to hear from everybody. Okay, the best gospel choirs. Woo -woo. All right, University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Let's go, Wiley. Okay, Little City, State, City University. State University. I don't know how many. I feel like Alabama won. It feels like it's a lot of y'all in here today. So I don't know. We haven't heard from everybody, but we definitely are excited to have you here. Um, we want to definitely do a little bit of housekeeping before we get started. Okay. Please feel free to put your questions that you want answered throughout the day in the Q&A section of the chat. We'd love to hear from you. If something resonates with you with any of the presenters, please put in there, you know, if, you, if it's something that you've experienced or if something that intrigues you or you're curious about, we want to hear from you because this is for you. This this event is for you today. And so we really are excited to be here um, talking to you about mental health. And so being able to do that is, is you know, as we said, unprecedented. So thank you for being here and investing your mental health, as we said before. And continue to tell your friends. They can come tomorrow. They can still log in today. So make sure you continue to share this throughout the day. And make sure you use the hashtag, as we said earlier. Um, ooh. We got more people coming I'm out. I'm so free, centering Black mental health. We definitely want you to be able to use those and let people black know that Black mental health matters. Throw that one in there as well. Today. So please do that in the chat. Um, let people know you're here. We definitely want to hear from you.